to women on this platform, and he will continue to do, is intense and immense. Now, this person who actually committed an offense of revenge porn against Nyako on this platform, today had the audacity and the courage to ask Nyako to apologize to him. Like, what in the actual fuck? Big Daddy. Like, why would you want her to apologize to you? For what? Yani, you have no shame left in you? You have no shame in you? Where did you grow up, Wewe? Ati, 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 you, I think that uh, 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 an alliance with me and Nyako would actually be very good. People are forming alliances. My friend, don't think that we are going to forget what you did. It's not going to go that way. It will not go the way you think. Tena wewe ni mekwambia. Listen, men like Big Daddy, dear women, are abusive men and narcissistic men who actually think that women are their subjects. Imagine uyu mwanaume ya kona wana wake wawili na watoto anakuja kusema mbele ya watu anakuja kusema mbele ya watu jamani ati anataka aombwe msamaha na yeye ndiye alikuwa amefanya makosa aombwe msamaha ati tena listen 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 to the violence of this man he even said that ati atat Unasema ni wajinga si wajinga that is what abuse does to your brain because an abusive man will repeat toxic narratives about you and you will adopt them and you will think that what he says about you is the truth you will think that he is your savior 24/7 then he damages your self esteem damages your confidence damages the way you think alafu utamwona kama he's the only person that you need to sub, in, in, submit to. That is what he has done to these women. And that is what he does to other women that also sit on his platform. So our wanawake, they have no other way out. They only look at him and look to him as the person that is best for them. Because one other thing he does, he calls them ugly. He tells them how much he has saved them. Ati anasema kwa live ati atararua kinembe ya nyako. Anasema kwa live bile nani ati 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 nani anaweza kupenda na ni kina luach na nini like this man thinks he's the savior of all all women very controlling abusive narcissistic individual if you kabisa ana query and I'll call you out you are not women savior on this app bwana when you are the one who has come to save women women were there before you and they'll be there after you you need to change your behavior lakini uko na bahati hujapatana na mwanamke jambazi hujapatana na mwanamke jambazi chizi ile siku utakutana na mwanamke jambazi chizi kwa hii TikTok big daddy utakoma nimekwambia and i pray to god one day upatane na mwende wa zimu kwa hii app ndio akunyoroshe properly wewe unafikiria wewe ndio unajua kwa nika nudes za watu naambia wanawake we need to find We need to find a woman mwenye ni chizi hapa anyonge na huyo big daddy akuja alete kila kitu yake hapa. That is what we need to do. This man needs to be put to the, the place where he belongs. Shame on you for even having that audacity and courage to come here and talk like that. Hata unaibu at our 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 reunion our association will be will be the biggest at people are making alliances. Shit ifuo kabisa nyisi nimekwambia and get it in your head every time i made appearances to you and i talked to you was because i thought you could be a better person because your toxicity is harming women on this app you are targeting vulnerable women which is very bad ikuo do we wakajo luo iduanyiri yawa ine mingoto ngoto mane ma okinyal we mon mo se tiktok kai Chundi ni everywhere. Eh? Nyonga mania king. Shame on you and what you did and that statement that you made. I've called you out. Ukipenda ufungue live. 
na ujue mimi sijawahi kukufungulia live yenye ina kutarget specifically as big daddy usinijaribu Us, ukitaka tuende kwa hiyo njia tutaenda umesikia i'm very ready very useless shameful man nyua dua nyorika chiet which quote in gimonde ni tibukori ibiro iwoyo kuo mdako machielo kakinyalo nyinya longoto riki dako machielo mbele mon mtin gimona riote yonge which quote ni poli lelewa wapi kwani shame ifo kachiet kodo wi wa makata gimanyalo nyisi anyway The other person that I want to address. Now this is just a statement I'm making. Ndiyosikie. Yesterday Jacqueline went to uh, Nyako's live. Alienda huko wakasameana, wakaongea. Eh, a lot of you got confused. Wanaanza kusema Diana ana simp kwa Nyako. Mimi anyway nitaona Jacqueline nitaenda huko nikitaka kumchokoza nitamchokoza nilienda kutuma gifts kwa nyako because i was making a statement showing her that yes my dear i can see through your bullshit and so i have come here to make you understand that i can see your bullshit and i see it now out of all of you people here including nyako i don't think there is anyone who knows Jacqueline better than me now we understand what is happening with Jacqueline now she has been homeless for a while she does not have alliances that are proper on tiktok she does not have people who can actually bring in the little money that she needs on tiktok so jacqueline actually needs nyako that is what is happening so it is an act of desperation yes albeit too late but she does need nyako and that is why she's made herself available in that space There is no way that Jacqueline is going to make an appearance to uh, Nyako's uh, space if there is nothing that she thinks she's going to benefit from it. There is nothing Jacqueline can add onto Nyako's existence at this point. She she does not have a following. She does not have uh, a good supporters. Her support base is broken. It's useless. It's gone. She is broke. She does not have content. There is nothing else that she can add onto the platform for Nyako that will be beneficial to Nyako as an individual. At this moment Jacqueline is a TikTok she is a homeless TikTok homeless woman that needs a space where she can feel loved and she can feel like she belongs. Yaani ni kama ule mtu mwenye mvua ilikuwa inanyesha nje na anatafuta nyumba ya kuingia. Unaona? So uh, it is good uh, and listen let me tell you guys mimi i pay attention to some things ndio mujue imagine she is the one that has been targeting the nyako so much but when she climbed on that live the first person to apologize was nyako she did not even apologize immediately she sat on that platform the first person that apologized was nyako it wasn't even her unaona So the thing is Nyako's apology was actually genuine it was coming from a place of peace she really wants things to be okay but for Jacqueline we know very well that she really needs a place to sit at this moment so she is there yes to be at a place where anaweza kukua loved na akue protected because currently Jacqueline does not have any protection on TikTok wale team team Sijuyo Campo 6 wanakuanga na viewers 